Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island, a game that, well, I actually, I actually, oh my god, that's so loud, I need to turn that down. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is actually a game that, well, you see, there were two, like, first Monkey Island games. There's this one, Secret of Monkey Island, and then there's the second one, Monkey Island 2 with a Chuck's Revenge. As a child, on our first computer, my brother and I actually had Monkey Island 2. We didn't have Monkey Island 1, we had Monkey Island 2, and they were point-and-click adventures. And then later on, I got Monkey Island 1. So I said, okay, I need a nice short LP that's really fun. What do I want to play? I want to play this game. One of the funniest, most just fun games ever made. It's so good. So, you can see, like, comes characters there. And this is such good music as well. This is actually... Um, well, first of all, I should say thanks to Pyro Dragon for making this LP possible. We'll say no more on that. But, um... Thanks to Pyro Dragon for making this LP possible. This is actually the special edition of Monkey Island, of The Secret of Monkey Island. If you see it now at the moment, that's what it would have looked like on the original for the PC, the original one released in about 1990 or 1991. Deep in the Caribbean, the island of Melee. No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> and this is what it looks like now. This is actually the special edition, which was released like a couple of years ago and has all updated music, updated voice acting, updated graphics, everything. It is a beautiful game. It is just so good. And they're actually really cheap. You can get like the Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2 together, the special editions of them on Steam for I think about 15 euro, which is really good value for two amazing games. This music is fantastic. This is basically the Monkey Island 1, or not, not the Monkey Island 1, the, the Monkey Island theme. And it's just, it, this game, this tune gets stuck in my head and I can't get it out for the whole day. Um, so yeah, I just like, well, first of all I should say like, apologize for that stupid Super Paper Mario video. I was like, it'd be kind of fun to do something for April Fool's Day. And <laughs> let's put up a video of Let's Play Super Mario and pretend it's like my new LP because it was just so perfect that it was at the right time of year that I'd be starting a new LP. And um... It's just like, I decided, man, why not? I'll do it. From <laughs> why not? See how many people get suckered in. Oh. Okay, now this game... First of all, okay, here we are on the right, Guybrush Threepwood. And here's the lookout on the left. Hi! <laughs> My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Why not? Oh, so much voice. Don't sneak up on me like that. The Ice King! Um, I'm over this way. Oh, ah, great lookout there. Well then, Thriftweed. <laughs> Threepwood. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, I see. Poor Guybrush. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring instructor. <laughs> but if you're serious about pirating, <laughs> go talk to the pirate leaders. Pirate leaders, You'll eh? You'll find them in the scum bar. <laughs> Gosh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Okay, this game is just full of, like, um, that... Oh, here we go. Where did you say those pirate leaders <laughs> The scum bar. The scum bar. Right. That's what he said. Thanks. That's what the guy with the same voice as the Ice King said. Okay, this, this game is full of, like, little, like, in-jokes. First of all, like, scum... C-S-C-U-M-M -M was the name of, like, the engine that loads of these games used to, I don't know what, like, I don't know anything about computers, but that's, like, the name of the engine that they used, the scum engine or whatever. Um, and here we are, we're basically, like, in the, spe in the original, like, it would have been, like, your typical point and click, where you basically click on what action you want to do, and then you, um, you click on what action you want to do, and then you click on the thing you want to do it to. So... But like in there after streamlining that in the, in the special edition, so now if you want to walk somewhere, you click there. If you want to do like an action, you um for shortcuts, let's say for um for things that the computer will guess what you want to do, like this poster. If you right click on that, he'll look at it because that's like the the default action for the poster. So look at poster. We elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. <laughs> 
the humor in these games in Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2 is just second to none. I love it. It's just so zany. So yeah, that's like the default options. If you want to like do another option, like you press control and that'll bring up all the other options you have, like push, look at, open, pick up, all of those things. Um, your inventory, you open it by the alt button. So that's pretty handy to know. Um, so yeah, how many of you people have actually played this game? Because it's just, I, I, I couldn't imagine not having played this game. It's just so good. I love it. It's just, it's hilarious. Oh, well. Scumbar is a pretty accurate name. Let's, let's talk to the pirates. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Yeah, don't poke the bear. Look at this guy swinging around on the ceiling. I love this music. Let's talk to this guy. He looks like he'd know a thing or two. Ahoy there, stranger. Oh, so many pirates. You in town? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's like. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood. At least someone can get his name right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah. What's your oh, name? What's your name? My name is Mancom Seatgood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> now that's a stupid name, Mancomb Seatgood. There's kind of a running gag in these guy games that people get, like, Guybrush's name wrong. They're like, the guy at the start said Thriftweed, and stuff like that, I don't know. Well, I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? Yeah, you really. You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. Okay, thanks. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Yeah, she she might be handy. Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. Mansion, eh? But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to contend with all the voice acting in this game, because this game is all talking. And why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. Oh, that's nice. It's made things rather uncomfortable. What? Yeah, how's that? How does that even work? How's that? <laughs> well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. Well, let us know. But tell I us. don't believe a word of it. Well, then just Esteban, tell me. over there at the other table might tell you. Esteban. He takes the whole thing seriously. Hey, thanks, Very mister. Seriously. <laughs> uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Yeah, flat, it probably nice is going flat. To. Have fun on Melee Island. Will do. I love the way they have like a TM after Melee Island. Like, it's just like. It's just so silly. What about this guy over here? No, I can't talk to him. Oh, this guy's kind of interesting. This is another one of his Oi. reference things. Oi. See, it says, ask me about Loom. Well, let's do that. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of that fantasy voice. storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? <laughs> Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D <laughs> landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control <laughs> of characters, this guy's objects, crazy. and magic spells. <laughs> Keep the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Yeah, Loom is another like game that Lucas Arts made like around the same time and this is just them like referencing Jeez, that other game. What an obvious sales pitch. <laughs> Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Yeah jeez. Nice talking to you. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, we don't need to hear any more about Loom. Basically for those of you that don't know, Lucas Arts used to make like a load of these games. They made this, they made Indiana Jones ones. Oh, what so many. Me for? Oh my god, his eye. His eye is scary. This guy is really frightening looking. Look at him. Yeah, the name's Guybrush. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Are you gonna insult yeah. me as well? So what? Yeah, what's bugging this governor? pirate that's bugging the governor? Lechuk. Lechuk? He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner. 
never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. <laughs> then things really got ugly. What's so scary about this yeah. Chuck guy? Yeah, what's so scary about him? The Chuck was a fearsome pirate. A fearsome pirate who died because someone to told him to. impress tough. the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. We had no survivors. Sank his ship? We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate. The Chuck, we were wrong. What happened then? What Come happened on, then? tell me. He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. Ooh. That is why we are all in here Woo! and not a pirate. Um, yeah, what the... I'm looking for Excuse the dark me, board. but I'm looking for the dark board. <laughs> dark board? Dark board? We don't have one anymore. <laughs> There was a horrible accident. Is that what happened to your eye? Drinking and darts don't mix. <laughs> yeah, what happened to your eye? What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... When hey, a dart hit wait a second. <laughs> that is none of your business. <laughs> oh, well, sorry to sorry bother you. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. <laughs> Man. Well, I guess we better do what the other guy said. Oh no, wait, there's the dog. We can talk to the dog. This is brilliant. Look at him. What should we say? Woof. Woof. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Like what? Woof, <laughs> Machuck. <laughs> and what the hell? This is just crazy. We're talking to a dog, and we're understanding what he's saying. And he's like <laughs> The dog. Well, I guess we better go and talk to these elders back here in the other room, like the first guy told us to. These guys look like pretty fine candidates for being pirate elders. I mean, look, they're important looking pirates. Let's walk to important looking pirates. Let's talk to important looking pirates. I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. <laughs> I'll get lost, boy, you bother us. Maybe I don't want to be a fire. What be ye wanting, boy? I'm gonna kill you all. I mean to kill you all. <laughs> I'll get lost, boy, you bother us. <laughs> I just like saying here and say that. What be ye wanting, boy? What be ye wanting, boy? I wanna be a pirate. Yeah. So what? Why bother us? Because you're hey, the pirate elders. Don't forget we're short on help because of this holy chuck thing. So. So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and grog. we're getting dangerously low on grog. <laughs> hmm. I like that guy on the left, his, like, ponytail I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Remember that. <laughs> well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through. The three trials. Woo! The three uh, trials. What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. Aren't there you always? Must through the sword. Sword, okay. And the art of thievery. Thievery, good. And the quest. What quest? The what? What quest? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah, treasure you must hunting. Prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword yeah, we can do that. We can do that with one hand tied behind our back. Hunter treasure hunter Proof that you've done it. <laughs> well, you guys sit here in your asses and drinking. You must drink grog with us. Yeah, that seems grog. more up your alley. Grog. 
Tell me more about mastering the sword. Tell me more about mastering the sword. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. Yeah, that you makes sense. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Okie dokie. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. Well, that stands to reason. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. Imagine the very idea. Oh, ludicrous. Oh. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item. A small item. The, it's the hummingbird of many egg. Hands. Oh no. In the governor's mansion. Idle of many hands. Keeps the idle of many hands. In the display case in the mansion outside the town. Ooh. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. Naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Dogs? Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug him or something. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Well, tell me about the hunting. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. TM. And get back here. <laughs> Should I have a map or something? Might be a good idea. You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. Yeah, you don't want and to be some like. X marks the spot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you need a map. You don't want to be like. Quote Bill Bailey, some mad dad on a beach with a metal detector, with the family in the car going, Come back, there's nothing there! You're a bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. Seems like an accurate description to me. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul smelling grog swilling pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What is in that What's grog, in that stuff, grog anyway? stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following kerosene, propylene glycol, <laughs> artificial sweeteners, <laughs> sulfuric acid, <laughs> rum, acetone, <laughs> red dye number two, <laughs> scum, scum, axle grease, battery acid, <laughs> and or pepperoni, <laughs> as you can probably imagine. It's one of the most caustic, volatile... <laughs> Man, this game... No this game is crazy! The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll just be running along now! I'll just be running along now. <laughs> so many pirates! Leave us to our grog! Will do. And tell us how you're doing. Okay. Well, I guess we better start get started on these three trials. I should explain something now. I might annoy some of you guys who are playing this game. I have finished this game before several times, so I know exactly what to do. Um, meanwhile. Oh, meanwhile. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies Ooh. anchored in a river of lava. Ooh. So that's the Chuck's ghost ship, eh? Guess that's the Chuck. And we use a ponytail beard too. I'm the Chucks. I. Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Oh uh, no! Sir. I wouldn't be that nothing much of a like fan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sir, I. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> Who's the Smithers' we fault? Glad like? to be dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. I mean. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Yeah. Uh, y yes sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. TM. Problem? What, what does problem? What problem could there be? Yeah. I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. <laughs> well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Yeah. 
actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Me, Guy Brush Threepwood. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Leather jacket, sweater vest, I don't know why I devilishly you handsome. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Yeah, you do that. Wait. Let's see you try. I'll handle this. Oh, no. no, 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 no. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd pretty much like the skeleton yes, to be dealing with me, not you. The skeleton will do just fine. Okay, well, the first... Okay, this is what I was trying to explain. I've finished this game several times before. I know exactly what to do. The thing about this game is that it's basically all about figuring out. So once you've played it once and you know exactly what to do, you can do things before you're actually supposed to figure out that you're, you can, you're supposed to do them. Um, what I'm going to be trying to do with this run of the game is kind of trying to pretend that, like, suspend my prior knowledge for a moment so that, let's say, I don't... Instead of, like, like at the moment I could go in and get things that I'm going to need, like, hours later, but I'm going to suspend that prior knowledge for, for in this LP and I'm going to kind of like go and show how the game tells you that you need things before actually going to get them because that I think that's the only real way to do justice to a game that's all about figuring things out to show the intricate way that the game does that so I think this game video is long enough I hope you all enjoy the f this first part of Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition with me Rock Paper Mario I'm sure it's going to be a challenge contending with all this voice acting and everything, but um, I'm sure I'm going to be able to manage it, and I'll see you next time, guys, and pick up this game if you can. This game and Monkey Island 2 are absolutely brilliant, two of my favourite games of all time. It is a crime not to play them. They are just fantastic, so um, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks a million for watching.